Hello, I'm Tiffany Barsodi of HealAndThrive.com. I'm going to give you a little information around biofield sciences and energy medicine. Understanding that we are all electrical beings, electrical, electromagnetic, and having fields, just in the same way that our planet Earth has fields. The magnetosphere, the stratosphere, the ionosphere, there's all these spheres around our Mother Earth. And in the same way, there are these similar structures around each of our living beings. And each one contains information. So that's really what's meant about biofield, is speaking to these various fields around the body. The physical body is somewhat, we, we know, we see this in the mirror, it's the most dense part of who we are. And just about two to and four inches off of the body, we have something called the etheric body. It's actually a template of literally the perfect body. If you've ever had an organ cut out, your gallbladder or a missing limb, it's all in the etheric body. It's literally the perfect image. So then the next field out is the emotional body. The emotional body or sometimes called the astral body. The astral body contains information around the emotions. The field just on the outside of the astral body is the mental body. And the mental is the obvious, the mind, the intellect, where thoughts happen, ideas manifest here oftentimes. And then when we give it feeling and give it form, we actually bring it into, we energize it and actually give ideas form. And that's the process, part of the process of creation, idea to manifestation. Just outside of the mental field, is something called the causal field. Now we don't have much say around what happens at that causal field. This is where some like to use the word karma and dharma and say that this is the field in where this information lives. That is information that's been put into process before we took human form, such as the, the family that you were given birth into the environment in which you live, all of these things have had nothing to do with your conscious say. So the field where we start to have some conscious say is at first the mental one, and it's a very important one. And we've really done such a beautiful job developing much of our mental capabilities. And I believe right now we're at a time where we're actually developing more of our emotional intelligence. And as we do that, we actually really help the planet out as well. We're in a symbiotic relationship. So I like to see that biofield sciences is kind of a marriage of biophysics, chemistry, and consciousness. So if we put all of these things together and stir it up in a soup, we have something that we could look to as a, an umbrella term as biofield sciences. There's many investigations taking place in this realm now having to do with various devices, which I will talk about as well. So I happen to use many devices in my practice. One primarily that I use is one called the BioWell. The BioWell is a 21st century edition of Carilion photography and is an even updated version of the GDV or gas discharge visualization device. These came out of Russia and understand that the Russians way ahead of a lot of nations for a long time in the work that they did, so-called behind the Iron Curtain, were able to advance their mathematics and various ways of looking at our body as being these electromagnetic and vibrational beings, multidimensional, multifaceted, and being able to come up with these really complex algorithms that help us be able to see how the etheric body is intermeshing with the physical body. So the biowell is taking information, you can really say from all of these fields, mental, emotional, etheric, and physical, and being able to overlap them and be able to see how they interrelate to each other. This is a beautiful tool to be able to use if you're struggling with what is the thing that's ailing you? What is it, and, and you've been to uh, several doctors or just not feeling completely well in yourself. Sometimes these things are happening subclinically 
where the results of blood aren't going to really give you the, the results that you know that you are feeling, that are not in alignment with what you know to be uh, filled with discomfort and agitation in your body. You have great wisdom and you have your own inner physician. And sometimes these subtle energy devices can really be a bridge to helping you actually see what's going on with your body and help me as a practitioner to be able to understand what to prioritize first. How do we best move forward in these realms that could have a lot of information around them. So I, as a medical intuitive, am constantly getting information from the field. Understanding sometimes the priority in which to work is very, very, very helpful. And that way I am tuned in as a practitioner of knowing when too much is too much and be able to give you feedback instantly on where your thoughts and desires and beliefs may be at odds with how your physical body could be perceiving things. So integrative medicine sometimes is just looking at a modality here and there added to. And I really believe that integrative medicine of the future involves vibrational medicine, electromagnetic medicine, informational medicine. All of these things can get blended together in order to, for all of us health practitioners to be able to do almost more full service job. And as we do that, I think that we're going to be tuning in to be able to do more preventative medicine, which I think is the ultimate goal for all of us. Click the link below if you want to talk about any of these things to book a free 15-minute consult. Thank you.